15. One more on the alternative for the underlying part. The animal activist has raised awareness not only on the plight of abandoned dogs, but also on overworked bulls and temple elephants. Okay. Interesting question. The animal activist has raised awareness. Okay. This we can see not only on the plight. Plight is the kind of uh, difficulties. Difficulty. We have been given singular. So let's use singular only. Difficulty um, of abandoned dogs, uh, but also on the uh, over. What what does this statement convey in its essence? The animal activist has raised awareness on the plight of two different uh, animal species. One is the abandoned dogs. The second is the over bulls and temple elephants. So we are going to see how this fits in. Why is this one wrong? So um, not only on the plight of abandoned dogs, but also on over bulls and uh, temple elephants. This misses the word plight. Yeah. The plight of abandoned dogs, but also on the plight of overworked bulls. That should have been the right statement. Yeah. So we'll see how best it fits in. On the plight of not only the abandoned dogs, but also on those of overworked bulls. This on the first look, this seems right. This seems correct. This seems to fit in perfectly, but this is not right. Let's explore why. On the plight of not only the abandoned dogs, basically this gets redefined. On the plight comes before um, and not only gets pushed later. On the plight of not only the abandoned dogs, but also on those. Those is commonly, those is a plural word. It refers to collective, uh, it refers to plural. Yeah. Um, these, those refer to plural things. So, we we, we, we we are not talking about, that's why we made it a point to uh, make the distinction of plight being a singular. So, those refers to plural. So, plights of overworked bulls, no. Plight of the overworked bulls. So, this doesn't fit in. B. Not only on the plight of the abandoned dogs, but also on that of overworked bulls. This seems perfect. So, that addresses the singular part. It talks about plight as being referred to as a singular. Uh, and this covers the entire uh, sentence as well. So, we'll keep it this one. This seems right to me. C. The plight of abandoned dogs as well as the overworked bulls. Again, the plight of abandoned dogs, there's a comma and then as well as again, there is this one missing. As well as the plight of the overworked bulls. So, there should be something like the plight of or it could be like this or it could be as, as well as that of the overworked bulls. So, the difficulty is being faced by both the animals. So, we need to make sure that difficulty part is tied down to both animals. Here, the plight is tied only to abandoned dogs and it is not tied to the overworked bulls. So, this is not the right answer. The plight of abandoned dogs but also on overworked bulls. So, here there is no, uh, the plight of the off on that itself is not fitting in, uh, fit, fit, fitting in right. Also, the plight of abandoned dogs but also on that of something of that sort should be mentioned here. The earlier justification that we gave for why C or A might not be the right answer fits in for D as well. So, D is also not the right answer. B fits in best. Let's read it now. The animal activist has raised awareness not only on the plight of the abandoned dogs but also on that of overworked bulls. This fits in best.